Hey guys, I just wanted to create a hot take uh, reaction to the Starfield announcement. Starfield just got a release date of September 6, 2023. I will say I saw this coming. I've been saying September for the better part of this year at least. Once we learned that Redfall was going to be in like the spring and May time, uh, I knew Starfield was September at the earliest. So this wasn't a shocker for me, but it's fair for a lot of people to be upset right now. But I want to reassure the Xbox fans, this is going to be fine. Uh, I have always supported delaying a game to make it better. I will say Starfield has gotten to the point you need to stop delaying it because you are at the point where you are now losing trust in the consumer because you keep telling us a date and you keep pushing it back. That's not fair for your consumers. It's probably not fair for a lot of people on the development team too. I don't know how much you're telling them. Uh, but again, I was never, I'm going to say I was never under the false illusion of you were coming out before June. And I feel bad, not like pity bad, but I feel bad for the people who did think they trusted you. They believed that you were going to be done by June. And so it's not fair to those people. So how can we make this right? Xbox can still have a very, very strong year. Uh, again, this is a quick hot take, so I haven't prepared anything, but in May, we've got Redfall. I think that's going to be a pretty good game. I don't think it's going to be amazing, fantastic. Oh my God, this is changing the industry game, but I think it's going to be a fun game and that will be a fun game to play with your friends. So Redfall is going to be a pretty strong one in just a few months. And then, uh, you're of course going to sprinkle in some other things throughout the year, but then you've got Starfield in September. I do believe that is the date. Uh, I don't believe it gets pushed back anymore. I think September 6th is the date. At the very most, no more than a two-week delay if something happens. Uh, and hey, maybe even they push it up a week, but I don't think that will happen. But at the very most, two weeks. I don't think so, though. I think September 6th is your date. Now... That is still not enough. I don't care if this game is a 10 out of 10. That is still not enough to get the salt out of the wound, if you will. So I believe the way Xbox recovers this year and makes this the year for Xbox, not only do you have Starfield in September, but you have Hellblade in November or early December. I think Hellblade 2 needs to come out i think we've that's another game at least we haven't been promised dates but that's another game that you have just strung along in front of us and we want to see it we want to play it we want it in our hands and if that game can come out i, I have confidence that that game will be at least let's say like an eight out of ten so you've got starfield which i also have confidence in You've got Redfall, let's say at its worst, Redfall is a 6.5 to 7 out of 10, which is still decent. Uh, Starfield, I think that is between your 8s and 10s. And then your uh, Hellblade is going to be between 8 and 9. And if you can come out with those three, really the, the two there at the end, Starfield and, and Hellblade, if you can come out with those and you come out strong, your year looks good. Doesn't matter how much you've delayed Starfield, you've ended the year right, people will have their trust again. So that's my hot take. Starfield, September 6th, I think it's fine, but I think we need a Hellblade. I think we need one more AAA or strong AA game to come out in the holiday from Xbox team, not a third party game from the xbox development studios any of the like 20 odd they have something strong needs to come out other than that have a good day hopefully this doesn't ruin your day too much you know at least we got a date you know that's that's the way to look at it there's no more guessing really we got a date have a good day